Hey, what's up everybody? It's me, Mike the Beast. Today we're back with a new video. This one is um, an interesting one. It's about a man called Vegan Games. I'm pretty sure you've heard of him. You know, the vegan wants to kill everyone that isn't vegan. You know that one. Yeah, so today we're going to be reacting to one of his videos. How I humanely kill people. So let's get right into the video. Oh my god, I, I'm just, what this is, I don't know, the new order is coming. The footage of this video was used for criticism, commentary, and education. It's protected by fair users, declared by creator Satan. Prepare for the coming of Baphomet. What? <laughs> sure, it's a joke, I believe you. It's not like you actually make death threats for real and try to stab people with fucking knives and veggie first. So, a lot of people have been telling me lately that I'm just too extreme with my vegan beliefs and that I'm just prattling on like a crazy religious fanatic. As you are. Telling people not to eat meat and killing animals is wrong. No, 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 no. We don't, look, we don't hate you because you're vegetarian. We hate you because you literally go around stabbing people. I mean, probably not literally, but... Sounds like he'll do that, probably. Also, why the fuck is he, like, in the dark? Where is he? Is this the fucking, like, Minecraft slaughterhouse who the Endless Clan raided because of fucking sheep spawners? Like, honestly, where the fuck is he? Does he need help? Do I, should I call the fucking police to go and find him? He's probably in a fucking well. When, in reality, the only problem is just with how we raise animals and how we slaughter them. Okay, yeah, I, I get what this guy means. Some animals are killed really badly, and I see videos, like, of animals being killed. I honestly don't like it, but, you know... Killing everyone that isn't a vegetarian is a bit too harsh, you know. Like, I guess, um, yeah, like, stopping the inhumane ways of killing animals, but literally making everyone vegetarian, disrupting the process of a fucking race for, that's been going on for millions of years, wouldn't really make anything better, you know. It's just saying. If we just only consumed grass-fed, organic, free-range meat that was killed using humane cruelty-free slaughter practices, then it's perfectly fine. And, you know, I've actually relaxed my stance on this and I've become more moderate. I think it's perfectly fine to commit murder as long as your victim died quickly, painlessly, and had a great life before you killed them. What? And it's actually a lot easier to humanely kill humans since... Pretty much every human being is free range. You don't see too many people locked up in cages like these animals we eat. You know, people can do pretty much whatever they want, whenever they want. They can. What the fuck is this guy talking about? Oh my god. Go for a walk in the park or go see a movie. So it's really easy for me to pick out human victims and. I actually like to just go that extra mile and make sure I'm doing things especially ethically and humanely. Yes, because killing people is extremely ethic and humane. Oh my god, this man needs help. I like to pick out people who have, you know, great lives, who just love living and would hate to die. People with big loving families, maybe a wife, husband, kids who would be absolutely devastated if they died and if they have a job that they love and a great growing career and just you know so much great things to look forward to and a great life ahead of them okay i, I get this is supposed to be parody. this is not supposed to be like a truth it's supposed to be parodying like said in the start of video but honestly it takes a sick mind to think up of this right like, think of it. Think of what he's saying. He's saying that, that people, you just go around killing people with good lives. Their life's perfect. No, fuck you. Fuck you. You don't get to live. Even though it's satire, that's still fucked up just to think about. Like, what the fuck, man? Then I single out those people, wait for a perfect opportunity when they're all alone, and I just walk up behind them and just bash them over the head with a steel baton. This man needs help, that's all I'm going to say. This man, this man needs help. This man needs fucking therapy. They didn't even know it's coming. They're out cold instantly, so it's perfectly humane. And just to make sure, I just bash their head in with my baton a few more times. 
just to make sure they don't wake up and that they're not experiencing any pain because, you know, I just gave them severe brain damage. Yes, I will hit them, and if they're not dead, I'll hit them a few more times to not, call, to not cause pain. Then, I just drag them off to a safe location, hang them upside down, cut open their throat, and just make sure their blood spills into a big jar, and then I cut them up into little pieces and keep them in my freezer. Okay, this is satire again, but this is seriously fucked up. I'm, I'm honestly not lying. This is fucked up. Look, I am a person that some people know it's hard to find something that I find fucked up. This man has fucking done it. And I think it's actually more humane to go after children because there's just so much for them to look forward to, you know? There's so many great opportunities that you can just take away from them and especially like teenagers who are first starting to date and uh, experiencing love for the first time in their lives it's just so humane to kill them at such a great high point in their life so what is this man going to come after me next guys if you don't see me in scholar on youtube next fucking week i have been killed by the fucking vegan games guy yeah, I think um, humane, cruelty-free slaughter is great. Uh, I support it, and I hope all of you live, you know, great, fulfilling lives because, you know, someone like me just might come around and take it away from you. What a relief! When will this poisonous product cease? But why? Wow. This is another public service announcement. You can believe it or you can doubt it. Let us begin now with the cow. The way it gets to your plate and how. Okay, that video was completely satire, but still, what the fuck? Like, just to think of that, you have to be seriously fucked up. I was like, what the fuck was that at the end of the dog? It's fucking. I'm just generally confused. Anyways, yeah, that was fucking how I humanely kill people by vegan gains. With, you know, 20,000 dislikes and 7,000 likes. But anyways, nevertheless, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time, which will be the day after tomorrow. Anyways, see ya!